Hallelujah. Our Lord is good. Is good to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Our Lord is good. He's a marvelous, wonderful, loving God. Amen. Good day. Good afternoon. Good evening. Depending on where you are at this time. Amen. I hope you and your family are doing fine by the special grace of Almighty God. It is that time again. Time with Pastor Bola. Time with God. Amen. Please, I will love you to be a blessing to others by sharing this message. Share, 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 and subscribe. As you do, God will bless you richly. I pray in the power of Holy Ghost that this message that you are about to hear will uplift your soul and give you the revelation of the knowledge of God in Christ Jesus Christ. I pray that as you listen to this message, everything concerning you, the Lord will perfect it. I pray that your eyes of understanding shall be open to see the revelation, the purpose of God for your life in the powerful name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, I receive that. If you receive it, say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. Let us go into the book of Psalm, Psalm 9, verses 1 to 2. David, the man after God's heart, said, I will thank God, Lord, with all my heart. I will talk about all your wonderful acts. He's talking to God. I will celebrate and rejoice in you. I will sing praises to your name, the Most High. What was King David telling us? He was telling us to appreciate God. He was telling you and me to do what? To appreciate God because appreciation precedes manifestation. Hallelujah. Appreciation precedes manifestation. When we appreciate God, when we thank Him, when we talk about His wonderful, glorious things in our life, we provoke Him to do more. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. As earthly parents, when we do things for our children and they appreciate us, we feel like we should do more and more and more. So we learn that from our Creator. Hallelujah. So when we appreciate Him, we are provoking him to do more for us and he shall do more for you in the mighty name of Jesus. He told us to give thanks to God with all our heart to appreciate God for all his wonderful acts to talk about the wonderful things God surrounds us with every day of our life. Amen somebody? David wants us to celebrate and rejoice in the Lord, our maker despite the pandemic Despite the other circumstances that you might be going through now. He wants you to rejoice in the Lord. He wants you to be glad because God is for you. God is on your side. Hallelujah, somebody. He said we should sing praises to his name, the Most High God. Amen, somebody. What shall we say unto the Lord? Brethren, all we have to say is thank you, Lord. For the breath of life. We say thank you lord for we are standing we are on the ground not under the ground we say thank you lord for good health we say thank you lord for our family we say thank you lord for the sun that is shining on us we say thank you lord for the air that we breathe freely that we don't have to pay for oxygen father we say thank you lord for the shelter over our head Father, we say thank you. For the food on our table that you provide, Lord, we say thank you. For your mercy that endures forever in our life and our family, our household, we say thank you, Lord. For your unfailing love for us, because you love us so much, Father, we say thank you. For your endless blessings, blessings that we receive every second of the day of our life. Lord, we say thank you. 
Heavenly Father, we cannot thank you enough. We cannot appreciate you enough. Despite of what is going on all over the world, you preserve us. You provide for us. And you protect us. We cannot do anything without you. It's not by our mighty, not by our power. It's by your grace. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Can you, can you celebrate him? When you listen to this message, I want you to celebrate him. I want you to appreciate him. I want you to say, Lord, I appreciate you for my family, for what you're doing and what you will continue to do. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Today's message is, I dare any good news. Brother, I dare any good news. Now, I know you, you will think, okay, where is this? Where is Pastor Bala going this afternoon or this evening? I dare any good news. This has been our question these days. When we watch the network television news all over the world, on the social media, all we hear is about the coronavirus, the shooting of each other, unemployment, death of thousands of people, thousands of people in the hospital, collapsing of economy. That is what we hear. Everywhere we turn. Amen, somebody. I, I must admit, the news are very scary. It's very scary. News headline can lead one into despair. Amen. Are there any good news now? For the children of the Most High God, that we are loaded with this question. The Lord is telling you, sending me to you to let you know, say, the answer is capital yes. Amen, somebody. God said, Yes, 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 because you are loaded with good news from God every second of your life. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Ask me, how do I know? Because the word of God says so, and God does not lie. Amen, somebody. Do you know why God said there's good news? And it will always be good news. Because he is the maker of good news. Hallelujah. According to the book of Psalm, Psalm 68, 19, it says, Blessed be the Lord, who will daily load us with benefits. That's good news. Every day you get up, God gives you good news. Many people went to bed the way you did. And they didn't wake up. Amen, somebody. But we, because, you see, every day we receive good news. But we are so blinded. We are so distracted. We are so discouraged we are, with worldly things. We did not see God's action in good news in our life. We are so worried concerning what we hear on social media, on the television, about uh, COVID-19, about the storming of life, about this, about that, that we did not See, our God, our maker, in action of good news in our life every day. Amen, somebody? Like David, it's time for us to see God in action. To know that God did not stop working on good news around us. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. My brothers and sisters, God is saying, my sons, my daughters, you are blessed in every day of life. You are blessed. I am blessed in every day of life. Do you believe that? That every day you wake up is good news. I want you to believe that this part, what you are hearing on the network television, on social media, in your environment, at your place of work, you are surrounded with God's good news. Amen, somebody? When you see the breaking, of the day, that is a good news. Many people did not see it. Many people, when they wake up, they rush them to the hospital. They didn't wake up in their right mind. When you wake up, 
you see the breaking of the day in your right mind, that is a good news. The mercy of God upon your life is a good news. Abundant grace of God, that God did not deal with you according to your sins, is a good news. The sun that is shining upon you is a good news. The wind that is blow that we enjoy is a good news. The rain that falls on the ground that make our food to grow, produce good food for us, is good news. The part of here that we can hear them singing, praising the Lord, that is a good news. Amen, somebody. What about the snow? In some part of the, of the world, some people make money when there is snow. That is good news. Trees that surrounded us with flowers, fruits, good news. What about the water that is so essential to life that we drink? It is good news. What about the flower that we smell? The perfume that made from it, that we enjoy. That is good news. The animals that are companions to some people. God is the one that created them. It's good news. Hallelujah. The job you have is good news. Even the children that God gave you because they are not yours. We are caretaker of them. He's the one protecting them. It's good news. You have good heart. It's good news. Hope in him that even if you are sick now, that by his strife you are here. That is hope. That's good news. Because you are alive. You are not under the ground. Brother, I want you to go with me. Realize it. That no matter what you are going through, good news surrounds you. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. God surrounds you with good news every blessed day of your life. Every second. But don't allow the devil to blind you not to see it. Amen, somebody. The book of Psalm, Psalm 118, 24 says, Every morning when you get up, believe that is the day that the Lord has made specially for you. Amen, somebody. And you should rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Start your day and expect it to be loaded with the benefit that God has prepared just for you as his child, as his son, or as his daughter. Hallelujah, somebody. Because you are precious in his sight. Amen, somebody. Yes, yes, all these are good news. Praise the mighty Jehovah. Hallelujah. We receive good news from God every blessed day. It's time for us to start enjoying it. Don't allow the worldly things. Don't allow the liar, which is Satan, using his way to tell you that there's no good news. There is good news. All these benefits are good news. And you are loaded every day with it. Amen. And it shall be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. For we are daily loaded with benefits. Your benefit. We thank you, Father. We appreciate you that our family are daily loaded with benefit. Your benefit, your good news. In the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory, give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation of your knowledge in Jesus Christ. To enjoy all the blessings regardless of what is going on in the whole world. Give us the spirit of wisdom to acknowledge you, that you love us, you, you created us, and you're giving us good news every day, every second of our life, our children, that you, your goodness is upon all of us. Father, we say thank you. Father Lord, let our eyes of understanding be open to know that we are surrounded with your good news. Because if our eyes of understanding are not open, we are going to concentrate, saying that, oh, they said this happened, they said this happened. Those people, they don't have the solution to the problem. The one that has the solution is our God. And he's telling us that, my child, I got you. I give you good news. Enjoy it. No matter what you're going through, I am going to see you through. You are going to overcome it. So enjoy the goodness of God. Enjoy the benefit of God in your life, in your family, in your marriage. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, Lord, my God, I claim and receive goodness. God goodness, I receive it. When I wake up, I receive God goodness. When in the afternoon, I receive God goodness. In the evening, I receive God goodness. At night, I receive God goodness. My children receive God goodness. My spouse receive God goodness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because the word of God said, surely, I want you to say it with confidence, with boldness, that surely God goodness shall follow me all the days of my life. 
Surely, God goodness shall follow my children all the days of their life. Surely, God goodness shall follow my spouse all the days of, the, of his life. In the mighty name of Jesus. God goodness will never depart from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your mercy follow me. Envelope me. Your faithful envelope my children all the days of my life. Because these are the benefits that God loaded with you, for you every blessed day of your life. Enjoy it. See it. Claim it. Receive it. When you wake up in the morning, say to yourself, goodness of God is following me. It's following my children. When you're taking your children to school, pray with them. Tell them that God goodness is over you. Because when you carry God goodness, you receive protection, faithful, mercy of God. And it shall abide with you. So shall it be, so must it be. That is good news. God is giving you good news. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a blessed one.